Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Epic Thunder here, bringing you a little bit of Black Ops 2 commentary. I'm just going to be talking about some of the things I've been picking out here and there, um, my personal opinions on things that I've noticed so far in just the first couple of days playing the game. But before I talk about that, I'm going to talk about the gameplay. Okay, I recorded this gameplay from a theater mode, and that's the only type of gameplay I'm going to be using up until after Christmas, because right now I'm using a laptop and recording live. Half the time, the uh, gameplay gets corrupted, the file gets corrupted, and uh, I can't use a video. But whenever I record with theater mode, it works every time. So up until I get me a better PC, which is what I'm getting for Christmas, I'm going to be just doing theater mode gameplay. Okay. Now on to the actual topic. My initial impressions of the game... Right out of the bat, I noticed like the color schemes are a lot brighter. That's good. You know, weapon balance seems pretty well. Although there is one gun that is definitely an overpowered weapon, like without a doubt. And that's like the B-23R handgun. And it's like, it's basically a handheld M16. We all remember the uh, Rafika from Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, this trumps that. This is a one-shot burst kill. It's like a, it's literally just a tight 95 in your hand. It's just, it's completely overpowered for being a pistol. It has the damage of, it probably has more damage than some of the actual assault rifles in the game. It's ridiculous. But that's my rant about the one OP gun that I've noticed. I haven't really noticed any other weapons actually outperforming the rest. You know, I... All the guns have low recoil now. I think that's kind of neat how they did that. Um, lag compensation. In Black Ops 1, the lag compensation made it to where hit detection for uh, low connection people like me, who live in rural areas and have low connection speeds. Yeah. I could literally shoot half my clip into a guy on a 3-bar connection before they start to register. It was ridiculous. I had to drop shot. I had to shoot people in the back. Like I could not win a fair gunfight if I was on a three-bar connection. It was just insane. And it looks like they've definitely improved that in Black Ops 2. It's not quite on par with what uh, Infinity Ward's done with Modern Warfare 2 and 3, but it's definitely considerably better than what Black Ops 1 had. So I'm really glad about that. On the map layouts and the map sizes, I remember, uh, uh, I think it was David Vonderhaar said that they were going to be following the Black Ops map design, not the Modern Warfare 3. And you know, it definitely has a hint of Black Ops map design, but the size is just, it is following like Modern Warfare 3 size in, map, in maps. And I haven't played all the maps, but like maybe, uh, you know, 75% of them, 80% of them, there's still a couple I have yet to play, but uh, most of them, they're really small. They definitely are more Modern Warfare 3 size. They're, they have layouts. The layouts are a lot more like Black Ops, not so much as Modern Warfare 3, but still the sizes are that, that really small, you know, Modern Warfare 3 sized. When I played Nuketown 2025, the spawns, they completely butchered it. The, the map is literally unplayable right now. It's completely unplayable, because, like, I played one game, one game of Nuketown 2025, and literally spawned, and they got shot in the back by a guy who spawned behind me well over a dozen times in one game. It was literally ridiculous. You were bouncing around all over the place with the spawns. It was, it's literally unplayable at this point in time. They really need to fix the spawns. Oh, jeez. On to a, a less Black Ops 2 kind of topic, but still is Black Ops 2. It's about the videos that I'm going to be posting for a while. As you saw the other day, I posted uh, Black Ops 2 Sick Emblems. And uh, that's that was the uh, it's basically a copy of what I did back last year. Not last year, like probably back when Black Ops 1 was still the new game. And I posted a uh, Sick Black Ops Emblem video. And it was literally the same thing that I posted now. And that video got 34, 35,000 views. Yeah, I'm hoping that my Black Ops Emblem series takes my channel off a little bit more than 
my other stuff has, because my other stuff gets like 50, 60 views tops. So, compared to 35,000, yeah. I'm hoping my uh, Emblem series can uh, help advertise my channel a little bit more. And I'm definitely going to be doing that as a weekly series. Like, I don't know if I'm going to keep it to an exact schedule or if I'm just going to upload, you know, once a week. Or if I'm just going to upload whenever I make them and maybe do more than one a week. I don't know if I'm going to do it. Like, every Monday I'm going to upload one of these videos. I don't know what I'm going to do. I really don't. But I'm definitely going to try to do at least one a week. Guaranteed. Because I love doing emblems. I've been playing around with that. I have like four or five really nice looking emblems on save right now. So, you guys are definitely in for a bit of a treat. And it should help grow my channel because a lot of people look for cool Black Ops 2 emblems. And, uh... I'm going to try to do maybe once a week or at least every other week do a commentary because I got a lot of topics that I can go through like right off the top of my head I have a commentary that I can do about active subs and doing open lobbies and stuff like that I have like uh, definitions of what is camping and doing you know someone who's literally sitting in a corner versus a guy who waits there for like two seconds because he knows the guy's coming around the corner I got a whole bunch of ideas for commentaries that I could be doing, and I'm pretty sure you guys will find it interesting. So I got that in prep preparation. Um, as a little side note, I'm looking to get a new intro. As you saw in Modern Warfare 3, I used the same intro. It was that one image that just said Epic Thunder MW3, one Photoshop still image. I'd like to have something that's, you know, an actual moving thing, so... I'm going to try to look for, you know, people who do that kind of stuff on YouTube. I can't pay anyone. I need something for free. I just want something simple that says Epic Thunder on it and just have, like, a slightly moving background in the back and maybe the demonic voice that I do that goes, Epic Thunder! Do something like that. I don't really know. I If you guys know of anyone who could do that type of stuff for free or if you guys could do that stuff for free, then maybe I could like shout out your channel or you know play with you or have you on my friends list. I you know I I just can't pay money right now. I just have no way of doing that unless I was to literally put dollars in a envelope and send it to someone. And that's not really a good idea. Not the brightest of ideas. But yeah, I'm looking for a new intro, something short that just gets to the point saying, "Hey, this is Epic Thunder's video. Let's get this shit started." You know. I just need something short, sweet, and to the point. And that pretty much covers everything. I can't wait to do a lot more with Black Ops 2. I don't think I'm going to be doing as much trolling as I did in Modern Warfare 3. Like, I had 18 funtages and a huge assortment of other videos where that were just funny and trolling and comedic and voice stuff. And, you know, that's really fun. But the reason I started doing that in Modern Warfare 3 is because the game was so horribly unbalanced. It was a joke. So that's why I did it. But Black Ops 2 definitely seems like it's a solid game. And, you know, playing the objective and playing for kills and stuff doesn't seem half bad. So I'm planning on doing uh, much less trolling, like maybe once a month. So once a month videos of something funny or cool or something like that. Well, we're heading up to the end of the gameplay. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Please like, leave a comment, all that stuff. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and Epic Thunder rolling out.